I just recently bought this. This is a 2022 Yamaha Zuma 125. I saw it up on Craigslist and I decided to see, hey, let me see if I can get it. I got a pretty decent deal on it. Not as a good deal as this one, but this one is barely used. And I'm, I'm going to show you just a little bit about both of these bikes. That's a 150. That's a 125. So I'm very curious to see how well these are going to be performing. You know, I am a big fan of this sort of segment of scooter and you're going to see right away there's going to be some big big changes but it's it's a brilliant bike both of these are brilliant and in the uh, upcoming weeks I'll be r doing a lot more riding on this then I'll have a very good review comparing both of these because you might be wondering like why get this over this well I'm going to figure it out so the PCX is probably the cheaper thing you could get and it's got Honda reliability it's great Yamaha is great with the reliability as well and this one has got a hump in the middle because it's uh, the style of it it's a little sportier it's definitely a road oriented style 150 cc has got an advantage of the 125 this one's got 14 inch wheels these are I believe 12s and the tires are a little bit worn but it's definitely this one's got a rugged sort of look and it's a 125 but this is the new style that you see all over the road even the Chinese are copying the style they have several of these that are 200 cc uh, named tank and I'm very curious about that bike as well so maybe I'll buy one of those in the upcoming future look at this up here you have a high fender like a little dirt bike you have gaiters or goiters or whatever it's called to protect the fork nice addition it's got this uh, chunk it almost seems like it would uh, <clears throat> have disc brakes by the way this one is like front and rear disc brakes which is really interesting and ABS so headlights it takes some time to kind of get used to it but I can totally see this as a little mini off-road adventure style scooter this of course would compete with the ADV 150 and um, I'm sure there's pros and cons to both of them I do like the headlights it's very cool looking one is the high beam one is the low beam apartment is brilliant there's a little um, thing here you can actually strap luggage so you might want to put like your sleeping bag or tent here and this one none of that but much sleeker and that's just like a very different styling of course this one's got that hump here you also have the the gas door there and the seat is very generous and on this one you have a drum drum rear brake which is linked by the way so this one is not ABS but it's got a it's very interesting so the this brake which is the rear applies both the front and the rear together so it's like a Honda link braking system that they tend to use on a lot of bikes and then you have your front of course you have the 14 inch wheels much nicer than the Zumas the seat is lower on this this is a lower seating bike I believe and handlebars on this are kind of like I mean let's just I have them positioned right about the same this one is like much further back and kind of curved which I do not like as much on this one when you sit on it it's upright like a dirt bike so it almost feels you can kind of stand up on it the speedo on this it's actually when you look at the Yamaha Super Tenray and stuff same sort of uh, industrial look disc brakes that one's drum so kind of crazy and even the outside actually it kind of looks like a Honda Ruckus with the styling much nicer than the Honda Ruckus I think and yeah foldable foot pegs that are oh my god how does this must be oh look at this oh my god it's like a knife your frame grab rails are really large really large it's you can strap tons of stuff on here that one they don't have the loops see it doesn't go through which makes carrying stuff a little bit harder and 
flat floorboard that's a really good thing in scooters you know a hump I'm getting used to it but when you have especially when you're doing deliveries getting on and off the bike is really good and the addition of carrying stuff in that massive floorboard is really kind of like a big advantage this one comes stock with a USB 12 volt um, USB charger right here and then you have a little pocket and then your fuel cap is here the fuel cap on the PCX it's a you know it's a whole lot uh, sleeker it's right there so pretty interesting the tank is very down low I'm not exactly sure where the tank on this is generous I think you can fit a full-size helmet in there I haven't tried it yet and yeah I think it looks really good it should be slower I don't think this is as highway capable as that one I mean on this PCX I take this on the highway left and right 495 66 295 and it'll hit 60 miles per hour by the way I also went back to the stock weights on it I do not recommend getting the weights I took from the bike or I put in the last video uh, I might mess around with the weights in the future but for some reason uh, they were not helping the mileage at all and it simply was slowing me down it's a removed these are brand new I bought them and they're useless so I'm told these are not the right weights for the bike maybe that's the reason the first spin on the Zuma right away I like the handlebars of this much more than the PCX and this one's got the broad front and rear disc brakes with ABS that's in, an incredible value I mean you don't need it on a scooter but on the PCX I already need to get a look at the rear drum brakes this one only has like 2,000 miles so it's brand new but the tires are already gone they're cupped so maybe that's why there's a little vibration a little vibration happening if you're gonna ride on the road just get normal tires don't get the knobbies the knobbies look great though 40 miles per hour oh do I have gas oh yeah I have gas so it's kind of uh, <laughs> you have to I wish they had multicolor dashes you know a lot of the, um, I mean it's 2022 why couldn't you get like a nice a nice colorful gauge on here so 36 I mean it it's slower than the PCX but you know it's a 125 so it's understandable so this is like full full blast goes to 42 quickly the PCX does definitely feels faster yeah 50 I want to see if I can hit 16 no 55 56 going downhill 57 so it's definitely slower but not much another thing about this bike is that the blinkers have a very short throw on the PCX they're like longer I, I kind of like that it feels more contemporary and of course they didn't reverse the horn and the blinkers and the blinkers make a lot of noise too that's good very audible the dash is also very close to you so you can like hit the buttons easy on the PCX you have to kind of lean it's like the front is like further out it feels more agile than the PCX it's slower moving because of the wheels I need to get new wheels knobby tires make a lot of noise and uh, when I was watching Wilson Wilson has got the same bike I believe this is a black one he was riding on the highway and I kept thinking that noise that looks like some sort of exhaust from another motorcycle but it's just the the loudness of the knobby is hitting the tarmac yeah brakes are way better than the PCX's it's got ABS but you know the PCX has got a very simple system 
it's got front and rear but the left brake which is the rear applies the front it's a very Honda thing this bike right off the bat is a whole lot more butch looking so a lot of people they don't want to get scooters that resemble traditional scooters they want something that's a little bit more you know aggressive looking and this bike does look pretty darn aggressive you know the twin headlights one is the low beam one is the high beam I haven't really tested it at night it's even got the the gators for the forks so that's an old school thing which is really interesting and it does have dual disc brakes front and rear with the addition of ABS and you know plenty of plastic but it doesn't seem too complicated to work on and with the addition of cargo the cargo rack in the back which will be good to mount some sort of like delivery box in the front you have also the addition of a it's a very original concept by Yamaha to put a rack in the front and it has like these little holes here so you can strap it you can see right here load limit three pounds which is not much but it's enough for a sleeping bag or tent or something and I think this bike might be a very good you know haul out somewhere and ride and camp so it does have that storage capacity and you see right here there's the the hooks so you can put it here some people put metal racks I think it would look really good and um, yeah I think it's a really good looking machine I mean it's it takes a while to kind of get used to the look because if you look at the old Zuba it's more traditional it's got the two round headlights with a bar on the headlight and you know the Zuma 50 the Zuma 125 all looked great and then Yamaha made this thing I mean, it's very polarizing when you look at it. another great feature is that you have a light here and I was wondering why well when you turn the handlebars then you can like look where you're going and I think if it's adjusted properly then it might work I haven't tested it at night and also you have traditional uh, blinkers there I'm actually thinking why did they include these cheapo blinkers but you know in a way I kind of like that they're just very simple brackets you can remove it just plop it down boom so it is nice you can change it to LEDs or something something a little bit more stylish if you want and I don't think you're gonna be breaking these because the handlebar I've actually never seen these like so close to the interior of the bike so when you come here look at this you can remove this you can remove the belt without removing any plastic the PCX you kind of have to remove a little bit of the plastic to get to the belt this one it's easy as pie it doesn't have any hesitation at all the belts seem like they are in good shape All right, squids, that is the Yamaha Zuma 125. I, I'm really liking this bike. And look at the, the size of this thing. Let's compare it to one of these. Actually, the bike itself is not too different in size than that Ducati Desert X. Look at that. <laughs> not bad it's bigger you know it's like a very cool looking bike you probably would want that one if you wanted to do off-roading and even the GS look at this R1250 and then they have the R1300 right over there with the Ac Acropovic exhaust this one is actually much larger it looks this one's like thinner in the front and look at the headlight yeah BMW the styling they have a thing with the headlights I don't know if you guys notice here's one thing that I didn't notice before when you turn off the light it turns off the headlight but the little uh, directional light is on as soon as you turn on the key ah oh, even like the slightest potholes since this bike 
all over the road. This F-150 is looking for a Hurton. Let's see how fast it's going to be off the line. See you later, alligator. <laughs>